Hello crafty friends and welcome back to the Crafty Seas. Today we're on with a small haul supporting some small crafty businesses and lovely crafters. So the first thing up we have is a purchase from Crafting Diva that's handmade by Lisa. I'll leave all her details down in the description box below so please pop over and check out her lovely goodies. So here you go, Mum. You have not seen it yet, so... No, it's a nice surprise. Lovely turquoise paper. And it says, a little personal note to Ashley and Maureen. Please find enclosed your topper order. Hope you like them and enjoy using them. Thank you. Best wishes and crafty hugs from Lisa, the crafting diva. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is fun. We've had our fun and games trying to make toppers for ourselves in the past and we're still learning. So this is a wonderful example of two ice lollies with bee emblems. Really love it and I love the tonal sequins inside. Beautifully presented as well. The lolly sticks have got some protection. They would really look like real wood. What do you think, Ashley? They're fantastic. They're so sturdy, so robust. And very very well made I cannot wait to get crafting with these and we bought because there's two of us we bought a packet a packet each so we can do a same stash uh, different results <laughs> and these are super bees which are popular for everyone really the bees and these are gold with the black and the it looks like the separate wing and uh, maybe a vellum and this one is an iridescent silver and a plain silver very cute cute body and again we got there's 10 10 bees in each packet and we got two because there's two of us and we're going to be doing a same stash different crafter challenge with with the two of us to see what we can create and also these will be very very handy for sending along with some be happy happy meal so stunningly made beautifully presented so thank you very much lisa yeah lovely hand st stitching around the detail as well that's difficult to see on camera oh something that we have bought a, a gadget to help us make is the what would you say this is a heart shape this is a heart shaped rosette rosette and these bows, they always look great when they're finished, but it is a skill to compile them. The cards got gold flecks on it, and I love the the green fairy style pixie dust on it. It's very nice, beautiful. So as we were saying, we haven't we have a gadget to make rosettes, but we haven't given it a go yet, and it seems a bit fiddly and tricky. So we thought when we seen these available from Lisa, we would give them a go, and she has them available in different colorways. We chose the blue because a friend of mine has recently had a baby boy and we thought this would be handy for making future cards and gifts for him. Gorgeous. And last but not least, we purchased some Halloween toppers. Halloween is my absolute favourite crafting. I love Halloween. I have many happy memories of dressing up as a child and trick-or-treating and I really do enjoy crafting Halloween. But I find it very difficult to find Halloween papers and Halloween crafts. So when I saw these on uh, Lisa's video, I was over overjoyed and couldn't wait to, to purchase some. So again, we bought two pack, uh, a packet of each design. And Fantastic. We have this packet here with the stitching detail and this packet with the plain pumpkin details. And as, as you can see, they're all, you know, 3D raised up. Lovely quality card and this is all embossed filigree effect. Very, very nice. And we'll make great use of them come Halloween as well as for your Halloween challenge that we're part of. Super. Gorgeous. Well done, Lisa. Thank you for packing them up and they came in speedy and good luck with your business. So as I said, I'll leave the details for Crafting Diva, Lisa, handmade by Lisa in the details in the description box below 
She has a new range of toppers coming out very shortly as well and these are very, very reasonably priced for the amount of time, effort and skill that goes into these. And I can it, guarantee that for these are these time consuming. Are very, very well made, very high standard and very good quality finish. Is finish. So I would recommend that that's... Lisa also put a video out of a crafty purchase that she'd made from a website called The Fruit Pixie. I'd never heard of this um, website at all. So just popped over just to have a little browse. And you know how things happen when you're just having a little browse and things just fall into your basket. Mm -hmm. So everything came... Uh, sorry. Just hide Everything came beautifully wrapped in these sheets of vintage book papers. I've just took them out of the papers so it was less rattling. So here you go, Mummy, again, you don't know what's in the box. No, here goes. Let me see. Oh, good. <clears throat> we've been using pearls. If you've seen some of our recent videos, we've been using pearls to highlight. And this quite small pearl size is really, really good. And we like the adhesive backed ones and it's always great to have extra gems so a nice way to support a small business. They also have a, I don't know how much will be left by the time you're seeing this video but there is a clearance sale on at the moment at the Fruit Pixie and the prices were fantastic. We got, I got this whole box for a very reasonable price and I'll leave the details in the description box below so if you want to go and so, show some support to the Fruit Pixie please do. It's a very efficient service and after them was wrapped well, packaged well and came quickly. So dive in mum. Mm. One more and then you can have a wee turn. Oh, I know what this is. It looks like the black 3D foam. Now we've been using the white but sometimes if you're working with black cardstock and dark papers this just makes it almost invisible really when you use the black so this is the first time that i'm actually seeing the black 3d foam in person so i'm looking forward to to using that and for it to be a bit more discreet looking when you're crafting with your cards so i don't know if you personally have used it out there or not but i, I haven't uh, tried the black 3d foam so looking forward to that also I just purchased some very fine red liner tape which is great if you're making boxes or any sort of fine construction work. This is really strong adhesive for that and I've never used it before but it comes highly recommended. Yeah we're really good when we've been observing different crafters we take inspiration and ideas from them so thank you very much anybody who's shared um, good finds and ideas with us and we would, this is our way of really repaying you and sharing our new finds with you and this is just stunning outstanding bees what fantastic way to add a charm to, to your work or to gift to friends, fellow um, crafters we bought the crafters companion beautiful collection uh, on ebay, you may have seen the ebay haul video for that and I'm still building up bits and bobs of the bee stash before I make. I have a project in mind and a recipient in mind for the bee project but I just want to take my time and build up the stash before jumping into actually making the project. So these are set for a bee, a bee project I have in mind. So eight, eight pieces which is great and they're, they're weighty. Apologies if you can hear any snoring in the background. That is our pet dog having a, a great time in the background. This is the little fawn pine cones, very small, 15 pieces of them, which are fantastic. Um, bronze, bronze colour, lovely for autumn coming in. And we do have our 12 Days of Autumn hosted by Amber Kintyre and the lovely Bex is our partner. So we'll be thinking of autumnal makes. So fantastic. I've got two packets of those. So. Just move them away. As you do. As you do. It was a sale. I couldn't resist. It was very good value. And I've also bought some mini keys. We've recently started exploring vintage and steampunk themed 
and really enjoyed adding bits of 3D metal ephemera to my project. So looking forward to using these. Hope you like them. Okay. And oh, a tub. Cosmic Shimmer. Detail embossing powder. Well, I know this lasts for a long, long time. So this is just one of the ongoing things that you would tend to replace the ongoing materials. So we've got lovely embossing to to go on with so this should come in very useful for us and oh I love this a little paper envelope and the time that that's taken to fold is amazing and this is a ribbon really nice quality and it's 10 centimeters 10 0 to 10 0 to 10 and it repeats itself so that will come in super with our sewing and vintage memorabilia that we've been using. I think it was only 50 pence for, for that in the sale there's as lots well, of so. it here. There's lots of it and well done for the little recycled reuse of the paper. This is the Distress Ink, the Tim Holtz. We've never tried... Um, any of the distress inks. I do love cracked pistachio and it's a dye uh, suitable for papers etc any really any porous surface so if we like its effect we would probably buy contrasting or coordinating colours because we do like get messy. I'm a big fan of messy crafting so if anyone out there has used the distress sprays, stains or distress spray inks please uh, drop us your hints and tips in the comment section below we'd really appreciate to hear from you thank you very much i also purchased the cosmic shimmer detail embossing and powder in black as well this is the detail embossing powder which is meant to be better for fine detail if you were very Such fine words and things like that sentiments and we noticed that we only really had some chunky embossing powder and to pick out fine details on small stamps it wasn't really efficient so hopefully this will improve the detail in our embossing and the quality of our gifts for people i also purchased um two cameos one in brown and one in gray i wasn't sure what these would be like they were only 25 pence but i must say they are you know, very good quality. They feel like faux stone. The cast and carving is really good for 25 pence. And I'm looking forward to using these in an up and coming Halloween project. So stay tuned for that. Fantastic. And the very first part, one of the very first purchases we, we made when we began crafting and put our videos up in January of this year was the archival ink. So we've been using it, as you can imagine, for a long, long time. So this is really, we've decided to replace it. And that was just a good price and quick to come as well. These were also in the sale. I think they were 50 pence. It's cute, really cute. Half wooden spools, 24 and as I said, we're exploring vintage mm -hmm. in haberdashery style and we have a stamp set with some nice scissors and, and a family member who sews, so that would be cute. So we thought we could use this to send some sewing related... It might be nice to tie the embroidery ribbon or the coloured threads actually round them as well for ephemera. So looking forward to crafting with these. I also got some um, gold chain just because we are getting into making dangles and things for hanging off of ATCs and journals. And again, it was 50 pence. Can't resist a bargain. And then the last thing that I purchased. There you go. Oh, this is bronze coloured camera charms. And these are a pound. Put them out onto here. I love the little the reuse of the, the pages. So... I know anybody who's making journals about travel, 
photography, family albums, anything like that, these would be ideal. And as they're a, they look like an old browning camera, they would also be good in your vintage work as well. So we had a lovely, what was it, a, a stamp that has got a lovely phrase about taking photographs, etc. So this, this will be lovely stamped out as a gift for someone. So fantastic. Thank you for your lucky finds from these lovely local businesses. So thank you very much to Crafting Diva, handmade by Lisa for the stunning toppers. And we look forward to your new range and certainly we'll be making a few sneaky purchases of them. And also thank you for letting us know about the Fruit Pixie, a small UK based business that we had never heard about. And she happened to have a clearance on and we managed to pick up some fantastic bargains. Let us know in the comment section below. Have you ordered from Fruit Pixie or Crafting D Diva Lisa? We really look forward to hearing from you in the comment section below. Do let us know what your favourite item from our purchases were and please pop over to Handmade by Lisa Crafting Diva and the Fruit Pixie. I will pop their details in the description box below. And we're off now to get crafting with all our goodies. Yeah. <laughs> so until next time. Bye for now. Happy crafting.